But on this leaf load, there are two figures. It is double figures. It is twin figures. But for this leaf load, you can see four figures. There's two big figures. There are two other very tiny small figures just coming out. So there's totally four. One, two, three, and four. Very interesting. Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is June 16th, 2021. As you know, for most figure trees, only one figure is formed on each load. But have you ever seen double figures, triple figures, or even quadruple figures on each load? I don't think you have, but I do have. Let's go and check it out. Stay tuned. Hey guys, check out right here. I have one fig plant in the container. Actually, I propagated this fig plant last year using air layering technique from the fig tree number one in our complex. Let's check out the label. In August last year, I air layered this branch. In October last year, I put it up in this container. It is two gallon size container. Before I continue today's topic, I'd like to give you a little bit introduction about this fig plant. Actually, in April this year, I made a video specifically talk about this fig plant. At that time, I was trying to tell you how to tell the difference between a new growth bud and a fig bud. In that video, I listed three easy guidelines to help you to tell the difference between new growth buds and fig buds. If you are interested, you can check it out later. I put a link above. At that time, all the bumps on this fig tree is very, very tiny. It's really hard to make a decision. Actually, right now, it has been over one month. Right now, you can see clearly. So we're going to check out the top part first. Then we're going to move all the way down to the bottom. Check the bottom part later. There's one thing I want to mention you. All the figures on this fig plant are main crops, also known as the second crop. They are not the first crop, also known as bribe figures. I have another video specifically talking about how to tell the difference between main crop and the bribe figures. If you're interested, you can click the link above and watch it later. So let's check out the top part. As you can see here, there are four figures. Actually, over one month ago, there were four bumps. Only one bump was very clear. It was a figure. Our three others were very, very tiny. It's really hard for me to make a decision which one is new growth bud, which one is fig bud. At that time, on this leaf load, there were two bumps. Both are very tiny. I had thought on the left side was new growth bud, on the right side is fig bud, but right now they both turn into figures. As you can see here, for two other leaf loads, there is only one figure on each load. But on this leaf load, there are two figures. It is double figures. It is twin figures. So guys, let's check out the bottom part. As you can see here, there's two leaf loads. There's only one figure on each leaf load. But for this leaf load, you can see four figures. I'm not sure you can see here. There's two big figures. There are two other very tiny small figures just coming out. So there's totally four. One, two, three, and four. Very interesting. So guys, totally I have 10 figures on this small figure plant. Actually, you can check out here. There's four on the top. There's six on the bottom. Actually, I didn't pinch this branch. You can check out the tip of the branch and check out right here. I didn't pinch off the tips. So total I have 10 figures on this small figure plant. The productivity is really, really high. Interesting, I only find this feature on this branch. Actually, I have another branch came from the exact same mother figure plant, air layered and put it up at the same time. I didn't find any double, triple or quadruple figures. So let's check out that fig plant. So this is the fig plant I just talking about. You see here, they came from the exact same mother 
fig plant. On the same day, I air layered. On the same day, I put it up. But if you check out here, I didn't see any double or triple or quadruple figures. Check out right here. I didn't see it. Just as we can see, this unique feature only expected on some branches and some nodes, but not on all the branches and all the nodes. To be honest, I have no idea about what kind of variety of this figure plant. I once searched online, some people specifically talking about double figures kind of this phenomenon only happen at a high chance on specific figure varieties. This phenomenon is pretty natural for this figure tree variety because I once checked out the mother figure tree, it has the similar phenomenon as this one. There is one thing I want to mention you. So I once applied monopotassium phosphate on this plant using foliar spray because nobody will apply any monopotassium phosphate on mother figure tree so I can exclude the possibility this phenomenon is caused by monopotassium phosphate. So it is pretty natural. Even though right now all these figures are growing next to each other in a tight space, but I'm not going to pinch off any small figures. I just let all these figures grow. I think they are going to ripen. We will see what's going on in the future. So let's go and check out the mother figure tree to see whether we can get the similar feature on mother figure tree. Hi guys, this is figure tree number one in our complex. I found a lot of double figures on this tree. So let's take a close look. So guys, let's check out this branch first. I have found totally three pairs of double figures. This is the first pair. This is the second pair. This is the third pair. They are growing next to each other, very crowded, form a cluster of figures. There are so many double figures on this figure tree. Just follow my camera to take a look. Even though you can find a lot of branches, they produce double figures, but you still can see some branches only produce one single figure on each load. Hey guys, just as we have checked out right here, you can see in this figure tree variety do produce a lot of double figures on some branches and some loads, but not on all the branches and all the loads. It is a pretty natural feature for this figure tree. So guys, if you like today's video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, share, leave comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.